Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello dear Aquarius. This month there's an overall spotlight on your communication, conflict resolution, confidence, and vulnerability for sacred second chances, right? And this could be related to your literary and artistic publications, product manufacturing, and shipping, and business partnerships, right? And you putting your work out in the world. It is about you working out the kinks in any long-standing conflicts in work operational logistics or co-working relationships and fears of being vulnerable. We begin the month with a full moon, marking you completing a creative project that you've been working on behind the scenes, right? That may be launching this month or in the near future, but where you may be, again, working out the kinks, reviewing, revising some issues that you've had related to maybe the dissemination, publication, or contractual terms and conditions with something before it's ready to be put out in the world. And I'm getting this applies broadly regardless of your industry, but I'm definitely getting that this applies to some of you who create or develop products, um, that you are trying to troubleshoot issues with suppliers, manufacturing, shipping, and delivering, right, to keep up with the man. I'm getting, uh, I'm tapping into some of you who work in fashion, uh, where you're reviewing and revising and thinking about marketing content and uh, overall image and branding. And uh, more broadly, many of you working out the kinks in working relationships and contracts, right? Also, maybe re renegotiating contracts, negotiating costs of goods sold, right? Your checks and balances related to gains and losses. And you're trying to recover and tease out financial projections related to the things that you can't you can and can't control, right, that may be affecting your industry or even your specific circumstances. I'm also tapping into those of you who may be thinking about your um, future if you work in higher education, particularly if you are in the U.S. and related to the uh, recent sort of like governmental laws that have just been sort of passed, right? Um, that bring up a lot of sort of ethical issues um, and uh, maybe worry about job security if you are uh, perhaps teaching, writing, or working in higher education. But more broadly, personally and spiritually, this month is about you all trusting your instincts. And if you look at this spread here, it's just like literally all of the cards are reversed, right? And it's you here, the overall energies, this page of cups, right? Who is like sort of like looking out in the distance um, and sort of contemplating this sort of new beginning related to your vulnerability. And, and I'm getting that, you know, this is about you trusting your instincts and rebuilding your confidence in your intuition and your instincts and your confidence in your decision making and overcoming fears of being vulnerable and putting whatever it is that you offer out into the world after losses or major hiccups in the past or, you know, some fears about, you know, projections for the future. This overall scenario, right, of accepting and taking responsibility for moving forward, regardless of blame in certain situations, right, where there was some financial or emotional loss or a bad judgment or feeling disempowered by decisions or feedback or harsh words or um, low morale or issues with men I'm getting as well, right? Um, some sort of injustice even, or workplace injustice, right? Or even you haven't done something that uh, wasn't in, that didn't sort of represent you in the best light, right? And July just being an opportunity to course correct, right? An opportunity to course correct. Your message is really short and sweet in that way, right? Because um, 
this isn't a new scenario, right? For many of you, this is something that has been ongoing, uh, maybe that you've been ruminating on for a while, that you've been healing, recovering from for a while, emotionally, but also practically and professionally, right? And where, you know, with the nodes changing sign in this new moon in Cancer at the middle of the month, it is... Uh, just this opportunity for a new beginning and for putting yourself back out there, letting love in, reaching new agreements, and just going forward, course correcting, right? And so I'm just going to read, you know, the spiritual lesson and advice messages for you here because um, it really is, your message is so short and sweet. There's going to be new energy coming in for you after this month. And um, there's a lot for you to look forward to. It's just a matter of um, reconciling all of these things from the past, right? For healing and for course correction and progress moving forward. And so this course correction card here reads, it says, if an obstacle or diversion has interrupted your plans, this card is here to assure you that the the delay is providential, bringing you an opportunity to pause and reassess in order to fine tune your direction. And then with the medicine wheel here that has shown up in reverse, this card is about the four cardinal directions, right? And it represents the cycle of life, the cycles of nature, and the circular pattern of our cosmos. And it has been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its direction symbolize the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. And the medicine of this card, <laughs> the medicine wheel, is that you must not postpone your healing journey any longer. It can be difficult to start, but you must find the inner strength to step into the medicine wheel or you may lose your opportunity. There are many ways and many paths. Choose the one you resonate most with. Once you have found it, the only mistake you can make is not to follow it. Go boldly. And then the... um. The sort of larger understanding related to this card is about um, reflecting on how you may still be clinging to events from the past, right? And how that can stop you from moving forward. It says, notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and show it? End at the east direction, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. And it says, it is up to you when you are done contemplating your journey. Essentially, you know, trust your instincts and go forward and don't miss any opportunity to essentially reconcile with the past and even with someone from the past. And I'm also getting that um, there may be people who are uh, thinking about you in terms of wanting to reconcile with you, people who are from your past, right? At the same time as this may be something that you're also contemplating, right? And just in general, you um, having to reconcile with, you know, just the wisdom of the past, right? This is definitely a time for a lot of deep reflection, given that the outer planets, Neptune, Saturn, and Pluto, right, are all retrograde, right? And so it is absolutely in alignment with the cosmos right now for you to be taking the time to do that deep reflection and to course correct things for a sort of sacred second chance in alignment with this major portal of opportunity that is open for the collective around the time of the new moon and with the lunar nodes changing signs uh, at the middle of the month. And so definitely take a look at the Saturn and Pisces and Pluto and Aquarius videos here uh, to help with that. And also your Jupiter and Taurus and Venus in Leo readings, right? That are absolutely resonant. We're going to wrap up your reading with your angel number message that came through here. Because the 
page of cups, right, is this sort of central card for you where it's about vulnerability. It's about this sort of sacred contemplation. Your message is short and sweet and just focused on the sort of spiritual wisdom that wanted to come through. So 1144 is this combination of the master number 11, master number 44, where number one is about new beginnings. It's about ventures. It's about ambition and tenacity, self-leadership and assertiveness. It's about ambition and willpower and individuality. And it's about how we create our own realities with our beliefs, thoughts, and actions, and step out of our comfort zone and strive ahead. Master number 11 is that sort of master number that encourages one to step out of that comfort zone and strive ahead. And it's the karmic master teacher number related to spiritual awakening and enlightenment, creative idealism, inspiration and intuition, self-expression and sensitivity and mysticism. Absolutely. Master number 11 tells us that to connect with our higher selves is to know and live our divine life purpose and soul mission. Four brings its energies of effort and will and building solid foundations. I'm getting the message for you to understand that any delays and any sort of um, sort of painful experiences that you have were important for you building that solid foundation that allows you to course correct and go forward now. All right. So this says work diligently toward achieving goals. With practicality and determination, honesty and integrity. And this number is about achieving success and reaping the rewards for work well done. So overall, 1144 is a message from your angels that you ought to look to new ways to go about getting your work done more efficiently. Absolutely. Um, mapping on to the sort of psychic message and even the astrological uh, sort of synthesis that I was getting about this focus on operational logistics in some way, right? Um, so it says, listen to your intuition as your angels are ushering positive energies towards and around you and giving you information about your next steps. And that is absolutely what this council card is about. Okay, so there is absolutely a sort of important, important instruction for you to listen to your intuition. Okay, so and synchronicities, all right? So this number says, keep your thoughts positive and optimistic as you undertake an important new role or venture. Your positive energies, intentions, and actions will manifest your expected results. Trust your angels to deliver all that you will need in your endeavors. Keep striving ahead and don't take no for an answer. You are on the right path, so do not let anything deter you. Expect miraculous answers and solutions to appear as you need them. And this absolutely aligns with this four of uh, wands card here that signals celebration, success, right? Things are going to work out. Okay, so... That wraps up your reading. Uh, UA Light Celestial Insight includes messages from the stars and the cards and the angels, right? Where I get these angel numbers while I'm channeling and then I wait to read the message uh, with you <laughs> and see how it all aligns with the stars and the cards. So dear Aquarius, be brave and uh, take quiet time, you know, away for contemplation and listen to the answers as they are trying to find you. All right, so like this video, subscribe to the UI Light Celestial Insight YouTube and podcast, and take good care of yourselves.